Good evening, all, and welcome to the session of uh, Stoke Support India. And we are talking about an interesting topic. You know, not many people know about it. Uh, Verma therapy today. We have had one session earlier also, but we are having one after another about six, seven months. And we have Vardhini ji, who is a Verma practitioner, with us uh, to talk about uh, Verma therapy and. Interestingly, she got into Verma therapy as her own experiences in doing Verma caps for myopathy people. Although she was working it as an administrator uh, for about nine, ten years before that, but she felt that then she got good experiences, including I think Shalaja also has had some benefits from this therapy. So it will be good uh, to to hear from them both. And also another thing that I just wanted to share, Vardhini has been kind enough to offer that in case there is sufficient interest, probably we can have you know regular exercise sessions, maybe on a daily or maybe on uh, some frequency where people can join in you know, every, every morning perhaps or maybe for 20, 30 minutes. So it will be good in my if there is sufficient interest, maybe we will see there maybe every two days have, have sessions if they are of benefit to people. So thank you very much, Vardhini Ji. And Shailaja will be assisting us. She's kindly agreed to be a co-host. So over to you, Shailaja. Take it further from here. And we'll, I'll be joining in also later and for questions, etc. Thank you very sure, much. Sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, good evening, everyone. So, Vadini, you can start by giving a small introduction about yourself and then you can start presenting. Yeah, uh, myself, Vardhani, and uh, uh, I'm staying with my husband, Mr. Kumar, a great support for me. And uh, 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 to start uh, with the Burma, I have to tell about a few words about my father, who is my strength, all my strength. He encourages me to do this therapy. So I thank my father also. And uh, um, good evening to all. So we can see what is Varma now. I'll okay. give you an introduction about Varma. Okay, shall I start sharing? Yeah, first slide. So the word Varma have been originated from the Tamil word Marma. Marma means it's magic. So from that Marma, the word Varma has been uh, derived. So it is a branch of the ancient system of studies called Siddha medicine. And uh, from that we got the Varma system of uh, science. It comes to us through manuscript. With the help of Siddhas, uh, it has been transferred to a lot of uh, Varma asans, like Varma teachers, then slowly it reaches to us. So what is Varma? Varma means life energy. Life energy, we got it uh, at the time of birth, is called Varma. So uh, this Varma hits the body. It is all, also called as Prana. It is also alternatively called as Prana. And uh, it works with uh, alternative system of medicine like homeopathy, um, uh, Yunani, Ayurvedic, Siddha medicine. And the Varma is also given so that it works. So, uh, Varma is uh, basically, how can I explain you? Varma means the Varma energy circulates uh, throughout the body. And uh, it gives uh, energy, and the function of the energy is getting proper through the channel, which we refer uh, uh, normally we refer as a nadi. Frequently, I use the word nadi. Maybe you people may not aware about the word nadi. Nadi means the channel. So the varma points are the points where the prana. Uh, getting uh, dwelling and uh, while you activating the point while or the stim uh, stimulating these points 
uh, it is getting properly channelized to the to the various parts of the body through which the function of the body is getting regulated. So once you activate or stimulate these points, the function of the organ is getting proper, and so that the disease is uh, getting cured. So while you stimulate these points, the energy flow is getting proper. So the vital energy called the prana energy or the varma energy is getting proper channelized and through which the disease is getting healed. And the mechanism of this uh, system is called varma stimulation or varma therapy, whatever it is. Then. Shall I move to the next slide? Next slide. So with the help of uh, uh, giving therapy, we can cure uh, multiple disorders like menstrual cycle disorders, which is common now in all the women. And also we can uh, give pain management for joints and also varicose vein problems and multiple alignment is getting uh, uh, properly channelized. And the pain management is very good. And also it is very good in stroke also because uh, basically the stroke comes uh, because of the um, improper uh, system in Vada. Normally, uh, the Siddha system believes in three uh, uh, Vada, Pitta and Kaba Nadis. So, once the vada is getting affected, the stroke uh, is getting to the person. Normally, <clears throat> the damage of the air or the proper imbalanceation of the air in the prana can be rectified with the help of this varma energy so that the paralysis is getting cured. So uh, normally the stroke people uh, will get affected because of the nadi, vada nadi. That is the vada channel, which flows to our body, throughout the body. Anyone is having doubt in this? Okay, the doubts can be discussed later. So because a lot of people will be having uh, doubt in the uh, vada nadi. Type of nadi, right? Like, that's what yeah, you yeah. Type of the nadi, especially the stroke people, some people want to know in detail about the vada nadi. Okay. Yeah, I'll move to the next slide. Yeah, sure, Shalaja. So, the origin of Varma. Uh, before going to the origin of Varma, I want to explain you each and every word about the, the word, Tamil word Varma. Va means come, ir means stay. Mum means circulate. Come, stay, circulate. So the Varma Kalai uh, uh, is given to us through the Lord Shiva to his son Muruga. From Muruga, he teaches this knowledge to Agastya and slowly he teaches this uh, science to lot of his students. So they are called as, they were called it as Varma Asas. That means Varma teachers. From the Varma teachers, it reaches to us now. Uh, it comes through us through Siddha, Siddhas. Siddhas are, uh, what do you call it as? Siddhas are heavenly Sa bliss. Sages, sages. Sages are heavenly bliss, whatever it is. Because some people may not know uh, who Siddhas. So it comes to us only through Siddhas. Yeah, next okay. slide. Yeah. So Varma therapy is given only through the uh, fingers, hands. It is basically an energy transmission from one person to another person by activating the energy to the person from one person to another person, it is getting activated. So the hands are used for Varma therapy. Apart from that, we can also use uh, some wooden sticks also. 
okay so now today we are going to see about uh, the hand related varmas and one more thing i want to tell you uh, without the help of any varma therapist don't do this uh, varmas just you observe the varmas if you have any doubts later you can ask me so now we are going to see about the molik talakai varma it is the place i i have showed you this is the place chalaja clear yeah it is clear the picture right you say okay yeah so this is the place where this varma occurs it is you want to highlight it This is the yeah, place. This is, yeah. Yeah. I want to tell you. So this is the place. This is the place where the energy flows. By pressing this point with the help of your thumb finger, so quarter energy, half energy, and full energy. Like quarter energy means touching the point lightly, and half energy is little bit. You are giving the energy more than the quarter energy. and full energy is the point where you give more energies like so by giving mild energy then slowly you can increase the energy levels and you can give the high energy by activating this energy the uh, function of the finger will be good the function of your fingers will be more good so we were channelizing the air circulation the damage caused to the varma air that is varma air in your hand the damage caused to to you or to the hand by the varma energy can only be rectified with the help of varma energy so this point is get affected only it can it can be get cured while activating similar to the removal of uh, cutting the diamond with the help of diamond so while the energy is not proper you have to activate the energy then only the place will be proper either you uh, you can give or uh, some other person from your home also can give so this is called molik pralakai varma first of all i'll teach you all the varma and uh, next to that i'll give you i'll teach you the exercises for this uh, activation of this varmas also if you are unable to activate this point with the help of your finger i'll teach you some exercises also so that if you do that exercise this point will get regulated the air the circulation of the varma air will get rec uh, rectified okay yeah next slide shall i move to next slide yeah if you can if i can come in vadini if you can also elaborate a bit for example if i press this point what yes, sir. what is the benefit you know uh, for each of the points i mean yes, happen the hand will move or what will happen you know if if i do this exercise yes sir uh, the tone of the fingers will get uh, good the tone of the fingers will get good okay okay you can increase the tone of your finger this is the uh, function i'll tell you for each varma okay fine yeah thank you sure sir sure sir this is the place where we used to say this is kavali kala next to the thumb finger it is between the uh, uh, thumb finger and the four finger yeah this is the place you have to activate this place with the help of three uh, fingers with the help of three fingers shailaja uh, yes will the people able to see me yeah they are able to see you no yeah okay yeah so you want me to spotlight you one minute yeah i'll do that 
Okay, okay. So, yeah. so this three fingers is used to activate the point. So this pressing with the help of these three points in the place one, two, three. Immediately you can see this area, the tone of this area will be good. So only you are using these three fingers with the help of these three fingers, you are touching here and activating or channelizing this varma place. One, two, three. So uh, sometimes people uh, what is it? Um, Kaka vali pura de na solu mama solu ja? Fits. 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 Immediately we can rectify the fits on the road side by activating this point, by giving more uh, energy, not uh, uh, seizures, seizures. If you have seizures, so you can actually activate this yourself. Activate by giving more like this. Immediately we can activate and they can, we can make them to wake up by giving mm. more numbers, by giving full pressure, not only uh, even full, uh, one full energy is not uh, enough, more than two, three kinds of the energy is to be given. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. And uh, the tone of this area will be very, very good. And immediately we can uh, hold the things like this so that we can see the differences. After giving this varma, we can hold things. Okay, more strongly. Ah, okay. Because the tongue uh, finger uh, gives more uh, tone for holding or to open something like that. Yes, correct, okay. So I'm going to go to the slides show again, one minute. Okay. You, you show me the Kavindi Kalam again, Shailaja. Yeah, yes. Because it is an important varma. It increases the heat in the body immediately. Okay. And also we call it as adangal. Adangal means it protects the life sometimes. Okay. Next one. Yeah, this is Uldangri Vellai Varma. This is also a very good uh, pressure point. So the pressure point is. Yeah. This is the place where the forefinger and the middle finger, forefinger and the middle finger will join at this place. This place is called Ullangai Vellai Varma. Okay. Have to press and give the energy towards this area, towards the wrist area. We have to press and give the energy towards the wrist area. We can either use this finger or this finger. And also I want to tell you, some of the fingers is more uh, important uh, only we have to give this Varma with the help of that finger because there is different concept like uh, uh, fire, uh, then the, uh, uh, akasha, um, water, uh, air, something like that. So uh, sometimes we have to activate this Varma with the help of that finger alone. But this, this uh, Varma can be activated with the help of any finger. One, two, and three. The tone of this area. This is also again a very important varma because this varma also helps to hold. And some flat bones are available here. That flat bones will also get uh, more tone okay. with the help of this varma. So we have to press and give the energy towards the wrist. One, two, and three. Not quarter uh, tablet or half tablet. We have to give, give full tablet energy to this area. Okay. Yes. 
What is the stage? This is called the Ullangai Vellai Varnu. Ah, yes. Mood. Yeah. Shall I just start the first one? Sorry? Yeah, you can start in the upper uh, place. This one, right? This is right, correct. Thank you. Where? This is the place. Where mood varnam goes. Yes. Okay. Help of this finger. You have to press, release, press, release. You have to press, release, press and release. So that sometimes uh, the stroke people can have pain in their hands. So the pain can be relieved with the help of this varma. While giving or activating this varma, the pain can be managed immediately, giving after 10 minutes and also you can observe a difference there. They used to say, uh, I want to do some something uh, with the help of the hand. They don't want to be idle also. So immediately it activates the hand. It gives more energy to the hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can we go to the next one? Yeah. Yeah, I want to tell you all about the measurements. Actually, we are in a different uh, uh, morphology, right? So each and every person, we are, uh, some people will be more in height, some people will be less in height. So the Varma measurement depends upon the finger of your own hand. If I'm giving Varma to you, See, for example, I, I, I take Shailaja as uh, an example. If I'm giving um, Varma to Shailaja, I have to measure the fingers of Shailaja. And according to the fingers, only I have to locate the place. This is very, very important in Varma. So uh, if I'm giving a Varma, Chavu Varnam, I have to measure four fingers from Shailaja's hand. And from the four fingers, I have to ask her to keep the finger. Shalaja, can you show me? Can you show me? Mm, spotlight, use it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If, if I'm giving Varma, Chavu Varma to me, I have to rest this a hand like this. And the fourth finger is getting finished here. And according to the fourth finger, I have to locate back side. So you can ask me uh, you are, how you are locating. So I'll give you an example. So you have to ask uh, the person's hand to keep. And then you have to measure like this. This is the place under the hand. We have to give this verma. by activating you can raise the hand immediately mm. people may not raise the hand above this area if you give this karma they can immediately raise their hands immediately they can raise their hands if you give a, or you activate this point In all the varmas, you can take the measurement with the help of the uh, patient uh, hands. Okay. Initially, uh, people used to measure with the help of thread and uh, they used to take a thread 
with the help of the thread they will locate it. just to clarify um, uh, vadini ji what you are saying is this is a point essentially in the armpit that you are pressing right yes sir the under the in the armpit and about four fingers from the shoulder and yes, then deep in the armpit and then uh, as you are saying if my hand is let's say paralyzed i cannot raise my hand as of now yes But sir on pressing i will be able to raise it almost immediately is yes sir depends upon the chronic uh, uh, if the patient is very chronic we have to give it for uh, four to five days but definitely they'll raise the hand okay they will by, uh, by giving more uh, settings or by giving uh, more numbers or sometimes we can give this varma once uh, once in four hours okay okay so they will be the they will be very generally speaking they will be very quick action maybe the same day or within after some sittings that's what you're saying yes sir depends upon the if the patient is very chronic we have to go for more sittings hmm hmm okay fine okay thank you if the degree of the problem was very minimal even uh, we can cure it within 3 to 4 days actually by giving chavu varma chavu varma is a, a very good varma to raise hand okay oh. sometimes sometimes they will raise the hand but the tone uh, but the tone is not good they will immediately put the hands down but they will raise the hand mm -hmm. if the tone is not good sir uh, they will raise the hand but immediately they will put the hand down yeah it's because of weakness right the tone you say yeah weakness basically so i have taken this varma it is very very painful that you actually have to raise your hand to alleviate the pain i've yeah. taken this already so you know the it's, it's a very painful varma painful uh, but right. to uh, alleviate alleviate the pain the only option you have is to raise your hands <laughs> so that is that is how they actually you know this this thing is i think somebody is having a question can i allow it now yeah Yeah, Mr. Wilson, Gang Kwan, is your question, please? Yeah. Uh, good evening, madam. Ah, uh, uh, one uh, question I did had, as uh, madam has explained, ah, uh, that you have to put a finger, ah, uh, at your armpit at uh, Varma and press it. So there will be a uh, chance that uh, there will be a. Uh, you can you can raise the hand uh, so uh, my question is that uh, immediate i mean if it is a very chronic you require a lot of sitting but uh, after uh, this thing uh, can we get more strength uh, into the hand now suppose if your hand is affected uh, it, it maybe the quickness uh, what we call that uh, spasticity will be increased or uh, about what uh, how it will affect will it affect the strength and uh, uh, quickness of the hand functioning of the hand sir for functioning of the hand you use you used to give molipralakai varmam and kavali kalam okay can you can you get me or uh, you want me to explain more Can you get me, sir, or I want to? It will be. It will be nice of you, madam, if you can explain me. Uh, uh, how do I go for uh, strengthening and uh, quickness of uh, the affected hand? Yeah, actually, after this uh, slide shows, I I will teach you the exercises because uh, only the Varma specialist or Varma therapist or. Uh, if you observe how i am giving varma then only you can uh, give varma to you or your family members can give varma to you okay so before that you can make yourself toned or strengthened with the help of some simple exercises which can even activate the varma indirectly not directly or touching the point while you are doing the exercises that point will automatically get activated okay so i'll teach you no issues but before that you want uh, to get clarified i'll give you more info 
that if you want to uh, get tone for fingers, you have to do moli pralakai varmam. Okay. And kavali kalam. Okay. The, if you want the fingers to be more toned, you have to do moli pralakai varmam, kavali kalam. Shailaja, show, show me the slide, Shailaja, so that uh, he will understand more. Yeah, this is Kavali Kalam, Moli Pralakai Varmam. And also one more thing, Dakshanai Kalam, which I didn't uh, put slide also. Okay. Wait, wait, I'll show you. Shailaja, uh, show me, I'll show him the Dakshanai Kalam. If you want uh, fingers to be toned. Yeah, yeah. Shalaja? Yeah. Thank you, Shalaja. If your fingers is to be get more toned, you activate this point. One, two, and it is in between this area. Two. Okay. While you, while you are doing, if you are not good, if your tone is not good, you will get pain also. Ignore the pain and do. No problem. Ignore the oh. pain and do. Okay. Okay. One, two. Tone three. is muscle tone, strength tone you are talking. Right? Tone. With pain. Ignore that. No issue. Once if your uh, fitness is too weak, you will get more pain also. Ignore the pain. And also, this area is called Kavali Kala. Uh, yeah. I got this. And also Dakshinai column, which we didn't uh, put a slide. That is this area where this four finger in between, uh -huh. uh, this is the area. Okay. So one, uh, one and a fingers next to your finger uh, finishing place. This is the place where your finger is getting closed. So one and a half uh, uh, finger measurement. You have to measure like this. One and a half. This is one and a half. So with the help of these three fingers, you activate like this. One, two, three. Okay. Or otherwise like this. Front and back. Okay. Like this. So uh, all your fingers will get toned with the help of this free varma. And also you can use Ullangai Vellai Varma also. So if you activate Ullangai Vellai Varma, this area also, from this area you will get energy more. From this area, you will receive, you will, uh, immediately you will receive the energy also. While you activate this Ullangai Vellai Varma, this is the place where the thumb finger and the middle finger is getting joined. Okay. So you activate this point one, two, three. This area will get toned so, so that you will receive the energy from this area also, so that your finger will be more uh, toned. So, if you want to uh, tone your fingers, do all these four varmas. That's enough. Okay, thank you so much. Some exercises also I'll teach you. So that if you are unable to touch these points, just to do, do that uh, access exercises, these points will get activated. Okay. Thank you so much, Madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will return back to the slide show. You make the class lively also. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, again. Kavali and Chavu. I, I teach you Kavali Kalam near the thumb finger and you can activate both, both Kavali and Chavu immediately. If some other person is giving Burma, press release. First you have to press the Kavali Kalam, then you have to release the energy in Chavu Varma. Press release, press release. First you have to press the Kavali Kalam, then the energy, you have to take your hand in the Chavu Varna. Again, you have to keep both the legs, sorry, both the fingers. Here one finger, here one finger. Here one hand, here one hand. So I have to press 
again you have to release in the upper part you have to press in the lower part you have to release in the upper part press release press release like that you have to activate this point so while you activate this point immediately again the same you wanted to do something with the help of your hand that tendency will develop so uh, these are all the results that you have immediately received some energies so the varman yar is getting properly aligned and it is getting stimulated and it is uh, start getting started to do its function this is the result you will observe proper function or proper uh, circulation of the yar inside your hand can be immediately observed and tiratare varu you have to keep the patient you have to make the patient before you and you have to give the varma by standing behind them just with the help of these three fingers just rise the place squat pannungale shailaja illa on the slide e pannungale if you keep your hand you can see that there there is a place where you can keep your uh, fingers like that there will you can find like that you will find you have to keep the patient before you and you have to stand behind them just keep the four fingers inside down and give mild pressure with the help of this fingers just keep and rise again this varma gives you some energy it uh, produces heat also and also you can uh, raise your hands with the help of this varma again it is the same and if the tone is not good immediately you will get some mild pains but ignore the pains again so this is the most about varma but you have to do by keeping the patient before you and you have to keep the three fingers and you have to raise the fingers by giving energy first slide the first slide is spot for me the same place but before your arm arm bit with the help of this three fingers no measurements are needed just two fingers you can uh, even keep and give Yeah, it's written that you can, uh, you know, use your control to uh, bring down the hand. Sorry. 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 lie down their uh, hands because of pains yeah it's 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 making it voluntary now we in instead of involuntary it is making it voluntary this yeah. karma yeah 
Okay, shall I move to the next one? Yeah, shall I jump? Mm. Okay, so this is an important Varma called Kutri Varma. So we are uh, giving you some energies from our end and also the energy is giving balance. This uh, circulation channel that is called the nadi is getting aligned. So sometimes for person to person, the channel may vary. Sorry, not the channel may not vary. Sometimes the energy may vary. Sorry, sorry. The channel is not getting vary. The energy may be vary. So the energy should be balanced. So after giving Varma, we have to activate this place called Kutri Varma. It is uh, the slide. Uh, the cutting line. So let me spot on here. This is the place we have to move front and back like this, so that. The energy will be properly balanced inside the channel. Even if you give more energy or little energy, sometimes the Varma therapist may give more energy or mild energy. So the energy is to be balanced. So while you press this point, automatically some indications will be. Uh, I, I think this is for facial palsy also. Given to so the, the brain, right, that, uh, and I the think, brain right, will well, take. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why I am saying this is while well, uh, some if somebody tries this, they have to do this varma after doing all the hand varmas. This is a procedure mm -hmm. normally we used to do, Shailaja. Mm. Facial palsy um, that uh, varma is different this also can be given but this will be given to all the varma patients after uh, giving a hand varma neck varma whatever the varma may be this is a final varma we used to give for the balance of uh, energy uh, indication will be given to uh, the brain and the brain will take care of the energy balance Okay, okay, good. Okay, so more than next one. Yeah, that's all. Okay, and one more thing uh, if anybody uh, wants to try this Varma better, you can uh, learn from a good Varma therapist. The Varma therapist will not allow you to do immediately, they will observe you, they will teach you. Uh, they will ask you to do the varmas. If you are good to do, they are not to do the varmas. Or otherwise, they will teach you. Uh, then they will not allow you to do the varmas. So it's better you can get some guidelines and then you do the varmas. You can even uh, come for a video call and you can uh, sometimes uh, if you have any doubts, you do the Varma so that we observe, then you do independently. It's more important. I want to insist this because uh, some people may do the Varma in an improper manner. It also has some uh, impact. So don't do that. If you are not okay with uh, giving Varma points, Kindly, I suggest all you to do some exercises. Nothing is needed. You will get a good, wonderful result. You are working. Vardhani ji, you are muted. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think I got cut in between. Sorry. Okay, you what were you seeing? Sorry? You were saying something and you were cut off because you were muted somehow. So can you repeat okay. what you were saying? 
No, 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 I'm sorry. I think my connection was a bit. It went to it. There was a small power glitch here. That's why. Okay. So if you can yeah. just repeat what were you saying, Vardhan, just for the last two three minutes. You know what, so that it is clear to all. Sorry, sir. Can you repeat what uh, the last two three minutes? What were you saying, so that you know it's clear to us. Give this Varma. Uh, initially, you can uh, do exercises. Uh, no therapist is needed. Uh, nothing is needed. Only one thing is needed. You have to give some time for you. That is needed. If you do exercise properly, all these channels will automatically activate it. So you need not want to give any energy or any pressure points like that. If you do, uh, you are uh, it will be more. Better. So the pressure points will automatically be there and the channels properly working. Okay. 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 You you uh, you. Okay. We you you plan you are planning to demonstrate any. Oh, exercises now, Vardhani. I think that is not uh, up to the level. Okay, yeah. Yes. Can I teach uh, within uh, two, three, two to three minutes? Can I do some exercises or teach? So we have you time. Can tell, we can, we yeah, can extend time if need be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll spotlight you so that you can... You can. Yeah, you can. I'm spotlighting you. So that you can do it. Yes. Yeah. Or you can do the help of Baba. Press, release, press, release, press, release. With the help of Smiley Ball, you can do press, release, press, release. Yes, the rashnik which I told you will get activated and also ullangai vellai this is the uh, ullangai vellai varmam if you are pressing this both the rashnik and the ullangai vellai varmam along with the okay for doing it, you have to carry your time. Then, for this, you can do this 5 to 10 minutes. Clockwise, anti clockwise. Yes. For this, here is what Varma I already told you. The Varma point yes. is the communication. Exercises can cure you immediately for uh, uh, mildly affected stroke people. You can spare your time and, and you can get out of the disease. This one, you have to stretch like this. Initially, you need not want to take any support or otherwise, you can hold something and do. So that if you hold this, this area will get more toned. Like that. And also for hands, do like this. Here, here also, lot of Varma points was there. You can get activity clockwise and clockwise. Then, after you are okay, you can do this one so that this area stiffness will get rectified. This exercises and one more wonderful exercise. Initially, do like this. Then you can raise your hands like this and do. Initially, if some, uh, someone may not be able to raise your hands, you can just do like this. Four fingers from your arm. Give some energy with the help of this hand. This hand. Then you rise.
like this you can do but uh, of course this will uh, uh, be useful for people who can already move you know their arms etc uh, may not be that useful for those you know for example uh, whose one arm is not functional fully so for that uh, they will have to resort to the pressure points that you have explained but if they can then of course they can do the simple exercise yeah. that have just shown yes i understand we understand um, any any questions anyone has uh, if people are affected uh, by one hand and the family members sorry the family members can help them out okay then the family members can help them out yes yes anyone has any question please uh, they can maybe raise your hand and shalja will come to you or they can unmute and speak up if any any has any questions as of now this book that you were referring to vadhani ji this is in which language that you were showing in your slide shows tamil tamil now the varma uh, books are uh, uh, translated in english also basically the origin of varma is in tamil it is in pure tamil the language was very hard then uh, it, it comes to us through manuscript only okay now, uh, they translated uh, in english also some of the uh, uh, books are available in english also okay but as you were suggesting it is good firstly to know the points uh, you know better yourself maybe by observing or maybe by going to someone who's practicing is there a harm let us say i i press the wrong point can i have a harm there yes sir maybe that's what i am not asking everyone to practice if they were also doing it in a wrong manner i give you a protection method also the last slide which protects you if you if you have done wrongly uh, then by activating that point immediately the brain will function and it will correct it okay so even if there has been some you know some points missed or placed to uh, press wrongly little bit here and there the last six eyes will balance them out that is what you are saying yes sir yes sir and also it may not result in a very bad effect like uh, sometimes they make it pain or sometimes the channel will get imbalance and again the channel will, will get balance that is what can be done and uh, no this is will be occur if you touch wrongly the channel may disturb okay which is which we used to say that it was nadi nadi means the flow of the energy channel the flow of the energy channel sometimes may get disturbed but immediately it will uh, get cured of its own while you touching this putri uh, varma the last varma and in your experience have you or are you handling uh, some stroke patients uh, who have suffered stroke because stroke is mainly to do with the brain you know uh so it is a little bit confusing for me that i'm not doing anything with the brain i'm just touching some points in the arm etc how is the damage to the brain getting cured uh, i Or think uh, i can i can answer this because i've yes, already please. taken some sessions with her actually yeah. what happens is whenever she touches a point you can feel a tingling sensation which is actually transmitted via that particular organ to your brain so you can actually feel a small tingling sensation which is actually evident immediately evident immediately yes, so please. what happens is uh, you know you actually get a, a kind of a posture correction almost all of all uh, you know immediately i i can i can say i can guarantee for you on that because i think uh, i am not really very sure about chronic patients but i have gotten to know her for the past one year uh, the impacts are pain and the stiffness management has been very easy after going for this uh, varma therapy actually so uh, stiffness you are saying spasticity there has been an uh, i i i can i mean i'm i'm i have been also a part of that discussion previously so i'm not really sure if i'm i'm a i mean i'm, I'm actually impacted with that kind of a spasticity where i cannot really uh, where i had frozen shoulder that kind of thing was not there with me so but i can definitely say the stiffness on the hand because of non usage of uh, as uh, last week we saw right 
the brain forgets the operation that kind of mm. sir it's difference. not now, uh, uh, what i want to tell you what i want to tell you there is a blockage in the transmission of uh, the command correct that's what i want to clarify there mm -hmm. is a blockage between uh, the transmission of uh, the message from one place to one place that blockages can be easily rectified Yeah. yeah yeah we i think she got she disconnected probably one minute yes, yes i think she got, she got disconnected no i what i can say evidently is that this sabu uh, varma which for is for example which she actually you know introduced in the session so uh, the the way the channel is actually you know for functioning is just the nerve channels the electrical stimulation that is probably uh, you know given in all the modern medications i think that is the one which is being triggered through points here and that is my inference from okay. whatever she has done so cool. my inference is the electrical stimulation of the nerves is usually being triggered by giving some points some kind of stimulation and it's actually also a combination of your human energy transmission the other person is actually transmitting her energy through those finger points that can also be the case okay and as you uh, have uh, i think uh, but yourself said chalaja you have uh, benefited uh, besides yourself varnichi there are other patients also that you are uh, i am talking of stroke patients specifically in your practice that you have had seen that have had some benefits uh, sir a lot of stroke patients have benefited while i was practicing in madurai uh, i think you may know myopathy it is a congenital uh, disorder so those people also will say that uh, the stiffness is getting reduced and uh, we are now okay so uh, god is not stiffness getting more stiffness after you give varma okay fine anyone else has any questions to at this point yeah and raise your hands and we can uh, vadini ji ka try to address them if anyone has and as you were saying vadini ji we are we may have maybe some exercise sessions yes sir uh, let us see uh, we'll put it on the group let us see the interests of people we will talk about the time etc i will talk about the time with you and then uh, let us see we can put it on the group and see uh, how many people can join in and then we can take it but okay. kind of uh, those those sessions uh, one can do it on zoom in your opinion okay sir no i'm asking you vadini ji those those exercises or those points whatever you will be talking about in those sessions you don't need to be physically close to a practitioner i mean i can uh, the the people attending can see it from zoom and can understand what to do is it i could not tell you sir what you are say, saying i could ah, oh, okay i i, I think uh, no no, no it's okay sir i think she can handle that uh, the exercise sessions can be done online or do you really require physical presence is asking no actually for those can be done online okay, okay. Uh, exercise is online is okay okay so that is possible online that is Why? possible i think then we can uh, there are no questions no more questions at this stage so we can close this session we are past 10 uh, we are passing sir uh, uh, do you have any other doubts do you not, have any doubts not me personally but i'm sure going forward uh, we will have the advantage of your experience and we will i, I have one clarification to put yes. mm -hmm. to be present this to the team in english in telegram should we do the send the presentation you are talking of the powerpoint presentation that have you have just shown yeah yes you uh, wanted to be done in english and sent it to the telegram group yes we can make it if you can do it in english i think that will be good if it can. it is it is available i think all these were available because uh, for the past 3 days i was not totally available and uh, today by 7 o'clock i reached the home i was not very well prepared for the session also maybe shailaja know that so 
uh, Shailaja, I gave the materials to Shailaja. She prepared the PowerPoint presentation for the last one week. I was not... Uh, no, no, that's okay. I think we got the gist of it. Uh, that was one. No, I, I'm just asking. I mean, and it'll yes, be useful yes. for the people, right? Like, I we can, can send it. We can okay. make that uh, presentation in uh, Eng English also and send it. And we can put it. But I think uh, going forward, it will be more useful if people attend the kind of exercise sessions that we are talking about. Because doing is, of course, uh, you know, one is just seeing, another is doing. And so doing is the best thing. So let us see. We will put it to the uh, you know uh, group also going forward, and take it further uh, from there. So thank you very much, uh, Vardhini ji. It was an interesting uh, introduction and thank you. demonstration. And thanks a lot, Shailaja. A lot of insight for... into the new uh, chat. Yeah, it's a thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.